Scale from one to two now, are you happy? You're everything you hated, are you happy? Hey look ma, I made it, are you happy? Yo, how's it going everybody? Ray here. And today I want to talk about an issue that's sort of been pertaining to me these last past couple of weeks, I guess, two weeks maybe. Uh, a lot of people know that, or those that have actually been following my channel, and before I actually start this, I might as well put a disclaimer that this isn't really about drawing attention to myself. I don't really want people to feel pity for me because I'm not like doing bad or anything. This is just an issue that needs to be talked about, I guess, generally, because it could also apply to other YouTubers. And this is about YouTube, and uh, you would probably notice that by the title, but this is more of a really heartfelt commentary. Um, and I just, I don't want people to take it way too seriously and I also don't want you to take it lightly and I just feel like I need to, you know, put that out there because then people will have very different reactions depending on how old you are and maybe you can relate to this more if you're a little older. But again, I don't really have like a target demographic, so take this whichever way you will. Now, to get on with the topic, this is gonna really cover why I think being a YouTuber is both a gift and a pretty big curse at that. To me, at least, uh, these past couple weeks, it felt a lot more like a curse. And this is probably because of my personality. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back all the way to high school. Now, in high school, um, I started high school in uh, Canada in a province where you started, as I found out later on, a year earlier than you start in other places. So I started high school in grade 8, just for some context. That was classified as high school, not elementary school or middle school or whatever you call it where you live. And I used to be a pretty good student uh, in grade 8, grade 9, and grade 10. Some people might know that I moved to India. I'm back in Canada now, but uh, I lived in India for the portion of my life where I was in grade 11 and grade 12. And this is a lot where problems started rolling in. And problems more because at the time I was living with my dad. Uh, I live with my mom now in Canada, but when I was in India, I was living with my dad and um, we didn't really talk too much without getting into too many personal details. Uh, I might as well just add a little side note here. I feel like a lot of my videos sometimes tend to get a little too personal and a little more personal than some YouTubers usually get into, like talking about their own life. But I do it because I went through, I'm not going to say hard stuff because it's not really hard stuff when I think about it. It's just, it was more like psychological stuff for me uh, through these two years that I lived in India. Um, but I, I want to help people. That's that's the purpose of my YouTube channel. And I am a pretty real person. Like I, I, I want to make my videos as relatable as they are. That's why I don't script anything. Uh, I think I only scripted one video or so in the past, but it just, it, unscripting it makes it feel a lot more natural and uh, but yeah, I, I get into these details because I want people to relate and I feel like a lot of people do, so it's good on that note, but when I was living with my dad, uh, yeah, we didn't talk too much because we were kind of like both isolated people, you know, we were all both kind of doing our own thing and I, I didn't really get to know him that well uh, throughout these two years and yeah, looking back, I guess I do feel pretty bad, but we're different people and that's just how it ended up being so I can't you know plague myself too much for that or take too big of a blame and the problem with YouTube at least to me and and this this came about recently once again but uh it just I feel like when you're a youtuber for me the the reason why I do YouTube is because I like creating content and content is a very broad term obviously but I like more so the editing process when I make videos I see it as much more than playing just a game it's not just a game it's it's about creating and more about the stories you bring up or whichever way you edit and that's it that comes across very nicely at least on my channel and people really have a positive reaction even though like my recent videos got more dislikes than they usually do which I don't I don't mind uh, I think one of the bigger problems that is really pertinent with my channel is that even though I've been doing this for 
six months more consistently, my average view duration is about two minutes and a half, which really scares me sometimes because I don't know which people watch my videos um, to the end. I'm assuming, I usually just assume people that comment watch the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's why I do it. I, lo I like the editing. I like sort of bringing my own touch. And I like when people know how I feel because it helps them because I feel like this generation goes through a lot of similar things, you know? Um, a lot of things that, that quote unquote, the older generation don't understand. My parents, or more so my mom, and this will all tie in, so I'm not really sidetracking too much, but she doesn't understand playing video games. And a lot of my older videos talked about her and talked about this problem that I anticipated having uh, when I came back to Canada. And it is happening. Um, but I'm also sort of blaming myself for a lot of the, these things, which kind of makes sense uh, because this is why I'm saying that being a YouTuber can be a curse depending on what kind of person you are. And um, take it from me, YouTube isn't for everybody. It's, it's definitely not for everybody. And sometimes I, I just don't think it's for me. I'm not saying I'm quitting. It's just I'm going through a lot of problems in my life right now that are sort of associated with the fact that I do YouTube and that's kind of flowing into my personal life. Probably because I don't keep YouTube very separated from my personal life which I would probably take the blame for because a lot of people do actually keep it separate. And to those people, if you do that, you're smart. Maybe I'm not that smart. I have no idea, but I like to integrate it a lot because I like to help other people. And uh, now I guess I'm just rambling, so I'll probably move on. So basically what's been happening is that I've been getting, I've been called pretty much a loser by my mom because she doesn't give a shit that I do YouTube. She doesn't want to understand that. And I understand, I don't want to say things that people may interpret the wrong way because this isn't like an attack towards her. It's just that I spend a lot of time on the videos I create. I want to make sure people enjoy those and they come across as something that's not boring, something that you don't click on for a minute and then just just exit the next minute. I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I get the feeling that a lot of people that do watch my videos like do that. It's very weird. I, I don't know why I get so stuck up on this on this view duration, but it is, it, it's because it's an average, I don't know. I just, I get stuck up over it and I know that's not a good thing, but, but yeah, but recently I've been getting a lot of sort of shit for doing YouTube. Um, you know, I've been told that I'm wasting my life, that I'm not prioritizing things. And I do understand like when you get older, this is why I don't want people to victimize me. I, I don't want to play the victim card on myself, you know what I mean? Because now that I've been sort of thinking about it, I haven't really thought much about my life uh, throughout grade 11 and 12. I am, I don't want to call myself a loser because that's a super negative thing to do, right? No one would, no one would do that. But the thing is, I haven't really like made a life plan. And that's sort of because I was so stuck up into YouTube. I was so concerned about a lot of the content that I did make. I spent a lot of time on it and I want to make sure people enjoy it. And sometimes when you're a YouTuber, you just, you forget to think about yourself and I just when I'm told by people that I'm wasting my life because I'm doing YouTube I get so mad I, I, I feel so bad because I see it as such a positive thing in my life you know I see it as not only entertaining people but hopefully bringing them the positivity in their life that I don't have all the time that I wish to have you know what I mean like Bo Burnham said uh, in his Netflix special of his tour make happy he said come and watch the skinny kid try and give you something that he can't give himself. Well, that's basically my life. I've been going to the gym now pretty regularly, which is good. I mean, a lot of the changes that I make in my life are sort of because people push me to make these changes because I'm very reluctant to change. And a lot of that is because I do YouTube and a lot of that is because I want to entertain people. Like, again, I see it more than playing a game. And I sometimes just choose to ignore things I place the priority and the emphasis on certain things in my life that I probably shouldn't be placing it on. As in, I prioritize things that should actually be low priority. Um, if you notice, I made a couple videos or, or, or more than I would usually upload in the last two weeks. I think I made like four or five videos and that's a lot for me, but I'm proud of each of those videos that I make and that's why I get salty and uh, I, I get really mad actually when, when people uh, get mad at me and and uh, tell me to, you know, do other things with my life because I see YouTube as a positive thing. But at the same time, 
because I do that, I don't take care of other things. I get told a lot that you like you should read more because you would go to a job interview and you'd have no clue what to say. Uh, that's what my mom tells me. I, like she tells me a lot of things that make me feel really, really put down, which is again why I, YouTube is very difficult for me to do. I personally enjoy it, but when you're put down so hard by people that are like close to you that you you know love and stuff it's 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 hard to really not like second think what you're doing and I, I when I was doing that today and I realized well you know what have I really been taking care of I'm not so much of a person that schedules things or plans things out I just sort of roll with it and lately in my life I've had this really laid-back attitude like I'll, I'll figure it out you know but I said the same thing a month ago and here we are a month later and I'm still saying yeah I'll take care of it which is honestly scary like I bought Downwell today uh, which is a game that I bought for like a dollar. It was it was on sale, and it's it's super fun, right? It's it was a really fun game for me, and I played it for four hours today. And like, to a lot of people, that might not seem like a big deal. And yeah, sure, it's not. But this event made me think about a lot of things. And point is, I enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy doing this. But at the same time, I also overlook other stuff in my life, and I I don't want people to you know feel bad for me because hey you know we we all you, like you sleep the way you make your bed uh i don't know if like that's the same expression in english but that that's it, you know at the end of the day it's it's my fault for like doing a lot of this stuff but it just makes it hard you know because now i'm in a position where i might get my laptop taken away from me um i don't think i'm that bad you know i i don't think i I don't see YouTube as a negative thing, and it's very difficult to see it as a negative thing, especially because nowadays, um, you know, that's what we do. Like, we, like, the people that watch my videos understand this and can relate to this, but the problem is parents and, uh, other people you know that haven't experienced this and haven't, haven't grown up with this kind of stuff it's very easy for them to see it and relate to it it's not a relatable thing and that's what makes it so difficult so right now i'm gonna get a job soon uh something that i should have done like two years ago but i was in india and i couldn't do it because i was on a student visa there i quite literally couldn't do it um, so I'm kind of far behind. I'm starting to get my driver's license now. But the point is, I've been asked to do a lot of things, you know, by my mom and stuff. And I just haven't done it. And it's not so much that I'm like lazy, but I put YouTube on top of other things. And you might say, you might say like, that's my fault. I also don't entirely blame myself for it, even though it is technically entirely my fault and something I should take care of. But that's the thing with YouTube. It's at what point do you value your uh, well-being and your, you know, lifestyle over entertaining others? And that's why I feel like being an entertainer, because that's what I consider YouTube being. I, I don't see it as just playing a game. And when you're being told that what you're doing is a complete waste of your life, uh, I've been told that. It's very, very difficult to do it. I've also been told by a lot of people that um, uh, what I do is good and what I do is, you know, like they don't want me to quit doing it because obviously that's, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people that do watch my stuff probably feel like, you know, there would be a big gap there when uh, I would leave if I would quit YouTube. And for people that remember, uh, the video that is now called State of My Channel Rant used to be called My Last Video. And the reason that was going to be my last video, it's it's 24 minutes long, and this is long as well. You probably won't watch the whole thing. I'm, it, the, according to my average view duration, I don't know if everyone's going to watch this whole thing. If you do, by the way, thank you very much. And if you did watch this whole thing and you are at this point, please comment. Let me know um, because it, it obviously makes me feel better. But um, yeah, I, I just I have to take care of a lot of things uh i really enjoy doing youtube i i don't want to quit i i'd love to get a job like at twitch or something like that but yeah i haven't shown a lot of enthusiasm because i haven't like thought about my life very hard uh i get pretty salty when people say well you should get a real job because i do see youtube as a very legitimate thing youtube is a very legitimate thing for me but when people don't understand that that's where the problem comes in and that's why i feel like youtube is a gift and curse because when you overthink youtube you overlook other things um, and yeah, I just, I feel like I should separate my private life a little more from YouTube, but lately all I've pretty much been doing is editing videos and that's clearly been pissing 
my whole family off and I feel like I'm very, very marginalized. But yeah, then again, that's life. That's, you know, you have to deal with this stuff. And that's something I'm trying to deal with. Um, if you made it this far, though, I'm just going to leave a question for the video. What is something that you'd like your parents to understand or, or close relatives or whatever about your online life that they don't understand? I feel like, I don't know, we're living in a world that's constantly changing and being part of a YouTube community and being part of this community that I'm currently in, it's a really good thing for me. I need to take care of other things though. I don't know if I'm going to slow down my upload schedule at all. I said a lot of things in the past that I'm also not fulfilling, like I'm going to upload more on Ray 2 and stuff like that and that hasn't been happening and, I'm, and I really, I deeply apologize. I, I don't want to feel like I'm lying to people. I don't want people to think that about me. It's just that it just hasn't been happening and that's another like even my fans or viewers i don't want to call people fans because that's just putting myself up on a pedestal but people that you know listen to me and, and hear me out on these types of things i don't want to feel like I'm, I'm cheating on them you know what i mean so yeah i i need to take care of, of my second channel as well yeah uh, apologize for having this quite a long video but basically point of point of all this is that youtube gift and curse it's great, but it's not for everyone. So if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to do this, if you want to take this seriously, be prepared to think about people and, and think about who you're impacting and think about yourself most of all, because at the end of the day, you live for yourself and uh, that's the truth. So if you're going to do something, do it right. And uh, yeah, it basically just sucks to be called a loser and, and being told by people that life's going to bite you in the ass. I've been told that by people that are close. Um, and it, it sucks, but I'm trying to deal with it. If you want to leave any comment, I, I, I'm doing all right. I just, I mean, this is sort of my own thing, but I appreciate people that watch this whole thing. Like if you want to dedicate this much time out of your day to, to one of my videos, I deeply appreciate that. I'm very humbled and um, thank you guys so much for the support, but I'm going to end it here and uh, have a great one guys. Peace. On a scale from one to zero, are you happy? Cause you're on your own from here, so are you happy? I'm open to suggestions, are you happy? But what the fuck kind of question is, am I happy? I really wanna try to get happy And I think that I could get it if I didn't always panic every time I'm unhappy Like, I'm owed some life where I'm always like happy Which is stupid cause I wouldn't even want it if I got it Wait, oh god my dad was right